doubles, when to overcall, when to double, and responding to those uh, bids. So let's start by sharing my screen with you. And um, I'm actually going to be referring here to um, what's on my website. This is the uh, Gentle Bridge page, bridgefast.co.uk. And here on the right, there's a link to my own uh, bidding sheet, let me just, yeah, which um, is what I'm going to be referring to today. And, and today we're going to be looking at the, um, the red parts of this, which are on the second page. This section here on overcalls, responding to overcalls, um, doubling, responding to doubling, and so on. And in fact, the slides I'm going to show take this section almost word for word um, in the slide. So if you're not familiar with that, go to that website and, and print out that copy. This is a slightly updated one that, that talks about, that includes a weak jump over calls, which I am now going to, uh, uh, which I recommend rather than traditional uh, a jump over call. So um, that's what I'm going to be referring to. And <clears throat> I'm going to start by <coughs> this um, slideshow on overcalls and doubles. And I'm just going to quickly go through the essence of this because um, it, it's, it's all described on that sheet. An overcall is basically uh, a simple overcall at the one level, shows eight to 16 points roughly, and a good five card suit. If you overcall at the two level, it should be showing 10 to 16 um, points and at least a good five card suit. If you have more than 16 points, you should double first, planning to bid your suit later on. We'll look at an example of that in a moment. And a jump over call, um, if you're jumping and bidding at the two level, that should be showing six to 10 points and a good six card suit, very much like an opening week two. At the three level, if you make a jump level, that should normally be a seven card suit or a very good six card suit. But those are, are uh, jump over calls, which are uh, weak. Uh, and the one no trump over call, um, uh, I'm gonna follow the EB recommendation and say that it shows 15 to 17 points uh, with a good stopper in the opponent's suit. Uh, some people play um, 15 to 18 or 16 to 18, but um, uh, it's a range around that. <clears throat> so um, do interrupt me, I'll just go through this fairly quickly because I hope you're familiar with most of this. Uh, how to respond to your partner's overcall? Well, if you're weak, zero to five, or have no real fit for your partner, you can pass. But if you have three cards or more in your partner's suit, you should think about raising your partner's suit. So if you can, if you say got six to nine points, you would bid at the two level. If you've got 10 or more points or a very good fit, you could bid at the three level. Um, the other thing you can do in response to your partner's overcall is to bid your own suit. That would be <coughs> at least a good five card suit, but you should support your partner's suit generally in preference to bidding your own if you believe that you have a fit there. Another thing you can do is respond in no trump. So responding to a one level overcall, you can bid one no trump with about nine to 12 points, two no trump maybe with 13 to 15 points. And both of those um, bids should show a stopper in any suit the opponents have bid. Okay. Um, the other section I'm gonna talk about today is responding to a double of a suit. So if your partner has doubled the suit, generally you bid your longest suit, if you're only zero to eight points, you should bid at the lowest level. If you're higher than that, nine to 12, you should normally jump a level. And if you've got 13 or more, you should probably uh, just jump to game in a major if you have a fit there. Or there's another bid you may sometimes be able to make if you've maybe got both majors, which is to bid the opponent's suit uh, to try and uh, find out a bit more from your partner. You only really do that if you've got equal length in both majors and maybe your partner has a preference for one suit or over the other. So that's a, a considered a part of standard uh, bridge too. 
Another thing you can do responding to a double of suit is to respond no in no trump six to nine points with a stopper, uh, bid one no trump, 10 to 12, bid two no trump, or 13 or more, bid three no trump with a good stopper in the opponent's suit. So we'll look at some examples of all of this in a minute. Um, the other thing is if there's been an intervening bid after the uh, after the double, then if the third person to bid raises open a suit or bids a new suit, now you no longer have to bid with a very weak hand, zero to five. You can pass. But if you've got six to nine, you should bid at two level, 10 to 12 at three level, 13 or more, you should be thinking about bidding game there. So let's look at some examples of all of this. And here's a situation where North has opened one spade, East bids two clubs, your partner, and South bids two spades. And I've got the first poll question for you on this hand, which is what do you think West should bid on this hand? So have a little think about it. And I'm going to launch the poll, which is what should West bid on this hand? And let me uh, share the results with you. You can hopefully see that. Um, the majority here went for three clubs, 88%, and two people bid three diamonds. And yes, I agree with the majority of you. You should um, support your partner here. Um, because you know you have a club fit. It's a mistake really to bid your own suit when you could be supporting your partner's clubs. Your partner's got at least five clubs, so you know you've got a fit there. And with 10 points, um, you should definitely be prepared to bid at a three level. Um, even with a slightly weaker hand, but with good shape, you should think about bidding three clubs. And in a lot of these situations, you might also think about the vulnerability, but I would bid three clubs at, at any vulnerability here. Um, now that may end the auction, or if I put up a possible hand for your partner, uh, sorry, for all four hands, you may find that the opponents go on, so your three clubs might uh, push them into three spades. And you know, if the layout is something like this, the computer finds that you could make three clubs here, um, whereas North South will be defeated in three spades. I'll probably go down one or possibly two tricks, depending on the defense. So, um, you know, don't let the opponents, uh, don't, think, don't think about bidding three diamonds here, should be supporting your partner uh, once you know you've got at least an eight card fit. Do interrupt me if you have any comments on this. I hope this is fairly straightforward. Um, let's have a look at um, another one. Yeah, so here, um, North has opened one spade. Again, your partner overcalls two clubs. We presume that should be a good five card suit and at least 10 points. Anyone, um, we're gonna have another poll in a moment, which is what do you think where should bid on this hand? So have a little think about it. What do you think you should respond here? Okay, let's uh, end the poll there. And here are the results. And you've all either gone for three no Trump, 68%, or two no Trump, um, 32%. And I think uh, both of those bids are reasonable. I agree with three no Trump, I think, if you trust your partner's overcall. Um, and no one here, I'm pleased to say, chose to. Um, Oops, sorry, I've got the wrong slide there. No one here, I'm pleased to say, chose the um, chose to support the clubs here. Although you have a club fit, you'll be thinking with 15 points, if my partner's really got 10 points or so, I should be thinking we want to be in three no Trump, not in uh, a club, uh, not in a club contract. So yeah, I think I like three no Trump. If your partner has made a reasonable overcall, say something like this, even with just 10 points, um, you should be able to make three no trump on this hand. 
you've got an excellent spade stopper here. Um, so you're not worried about spades. In fact, if North leads spades, it will help you make tricks in that hand. And I think three no trump is, is probably the best choice here. Two no trump would be invitational, of course. Playing partner if you're a dead minimum for your two clubs pass. Otherwise, uh, go on to three no trump. Any comments on that? Any questions? Um, how about this one? There's another poll here. Um, <clears throat> North here opens one spade. And the question is, what do you think E should bid here? Take a minute. And hopefully your choice is one of these. So Tony, could you just go back to the, the the first slide, please? Yeah, I I don't think I can. Oh, okay, um, all right. Yeah, sorry. No worries, no worries. Um, Lee, um, this is Fiona. Are you on an iPad? No, I'm just slow. No, no, uh, because no, um, I'm on. I'm well, on look on your computer. If there's something that says more on on the Zoom somewhere, no, I'm you on. Click uh, on but do you have options of what you can do on uh, Zoom? No, I'm on a laptop, so. Uh, the, but you, must, you must have some no, options. Don't, don't worry, don't worry, don't okay. worry. Because there is something that says Paul and you just bring it uh, back up. Okay, well, I'm going to guess. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you for your tips, uh, Fiona, because I, I don't see the same thing as you're, you're seeing. So. No, well, if, if you're on an iPad at the top, you know, where it says mute and unmute and all that, you've got the more at the end with those little dots and if you launch a poll um you can bring it up and you can close the poll look at the hand again and then when you're ready you go back to that and click on the poll and then you submit it you make your choice and submit so that's on the you know tablet you know an ipad okay, okay. thank you for that information i hope that will help me get the right answer um <laughs> Okay, let's uh, have a look at the uh, results there. And the majority here have gone for double, 85%, and three people went for two clubs. And I think uh, the right bid here is double. Now, you, you might be thinking of bidding two clubs here, but 17 points is possibly a bit too strong for an overcall. An overcall should be limited to 15, 16 points or so. And this hand is a better bid by starting with a double. Now, it's not the perfect shape. It's not the normal shape for a takeout double because although you've got clubs and hearts, you've only got two diamonds. But because your hand is so strong, what you're going to do here is double and if your partner bids um, diamonds, you're then going to bid your clubs. And that's how you show a hand that was too good for an overcall. But other things could happen on this hand. For example, um, you may find <clears throat> that when you double, uh, you will uncover a heart bid because your partner has hearts here. Okay. So, this is another poll question for you, actually, which is what should West bid on this hand? It's gone one spade double pass. And the question is, what do you think West should bid with this hand? I'm going to launch another poll on this in a moment. Are you ready, Lee? <laughs> and everyone else? And the question is, what do you think West should respond to the double here? Okay, let me end the poll there and I will share the results with you. And this time we've had uh, quite a variety in the responses. The majority, 42% went for three hearts, 32 went for two hearts, and then others bid two no trump or one no trump. And if I switch back to the slide, 
I think the right bid here is three hearts. Two hearts doesn't show any points at all. Two hearts is bidding at the lowest level and it shows zero to eight points. And it's one of the most common bidding mistakes I see uh, all the time, people failing to jump when they have more than eight points. A two heart bid would strictly speaking show zero to eight points with at least four hearts. And your hand is really too good for that. Um, you may think it's a bit reckless, but really with 10 points, you should be bidding three hearts here. And here you will uncover the heart bit um, and your partner with 17 points will go to four hearts. On this particular layout, four hearts played by West um, could actually make two over tricks, could actually make 12 tricks. Although in theory, you might lose two spades because North is on lead. If they lead the spade, you will only lose one spade trick there. And uh, this, you can actually make 12 tricks here. By the way, um, on a bidding sequence like this, you should assume <coughs> that North has nearly all the missing points that you're interested in if you're playing this hand. So in particular, you would expect them to have uh, you know, cards like the King of Hearts, for example, and finesses that you try are likely to be successful. So um, here, the double was a good bid there because it allowed your partner to bid um, hearts there. And obviously, that's a much better contract than playing in clubs. Um, really? The, yeah. I, I thought it was two no trump because it's a balanced hand covering spades and 10 to 12 points. Yeah. But I don't know what um, West would do. I mean, East would do if you went two no trumps. Well, three no trump, I imagine. Oh, okay. Um, which um, could would make as well, I think, on this hand. But generally speaking, if you have an eight card heart fit, you should be playing in hearts rather than in, in no trump. Um, but yes, you... <coughs> Are you assuming that when the person doubles that they've got hearts? Yes. yes. Okay, thanks. I mean, that we're, we may get around to looking at a situation where they don't necessarily have the perfect distribution. But yes, you, you should assume that they have um, hearts. Um, on, on a similar hand, let's suppose um, North bids one spade, and again with 17 points, rather than bidding uh, two diamonds, which should be limited to more like 16 points, you double here again. Now, here your partner will bid two clubs. Two clubs shows that clubs is their best suit um, and that they have um, <clears throat> uh, zero to eight points there. They might consider, instead of two clubs, they might consider one no trump, although that would normally be six to nine points, uh, although you do have a spade stopper, um, so it's a little weak. Anyway, if they do bid two clubs, that's a suit you don't want to hear about, so you now would bid two diamonds. And this is really how you show a hand that was too good for a, a simple overcall of two diamonds initially. You double first and then bid your suit. And now your partner should assume that you've got five diamonds and at least 16 points. So that might end the auction or maybe South might go on, South might bid. In that case as West, I think I would support my partner's diamonds. I did three diamonds and that might end the auction um, here. On this particular layout, which is a possible one for the bidding, um, the computer finds that you could make three diamonds, uh, whereas north-south would go down in two spades. And of course, the decision to bid in these competitive auctions might be governed by the vulnerability. So you'd be more inclined to bid if you're not vulnerable and more inclined to um, uh, par collect a penalty score um, you, you'd be less inclined to bid more aggressively if you were vulnerable there. Um, but, but here the computer finds you could defeat two spades by two tricks, which would be an especially good score if 
north south were vulnerable. Um, let's try another one. Um, how about this? You you open uh, north opens a spade. You double here again. A hand too good for an overcall of two hearts. Your partner bids two clubs. So here you don't like the clubs and you bid two hearts. Now your partner knows you're showing a hand with a good heart suit, a five card heart suit, and that you didn't have the right hand, the normal hand for a takeout double because you didn't like the clubs, but they should assume we've got something like 16 points and a five card heart suit. And so East might very well bid three or four hearts even to, uh, to bid game there. If you assume your partner's got at least 16 points, that should be enough for, uh, for game. On this particular layout, uh, the computer finds that you could make uh, four hearts plus one here. Okay. Um, note that if you if you just bid overcall two hearts here, your partner's probably not going to get very excited with only eight points because your two heart overcall should be limited to um, you know fifteen points or so. So when but when you double and then bid the suit, you're showing a stronger hand. Here's um, another. Um, bidding problem. Uh, there's not a poll on this one. Your uh, north opens one spade. What do you think E should bid with this hand? Anyone like to unmute themselves and, and tell me what you think the, the bid should be? I'd pass, Tony. You'd pass. Okay. Any other choices? One no trump. Yeah, I think one no trump is suitable, isn't it? It's not good for um, an overcall of a suit, not really right for a double, but it's about right for a one no trump overcall. You've got a good spade stopper <coughs> and, um, and that should show something like 15 to 17 with a good spade stopper. Um, so we bid one no trump. And what do you think your partner should respond on this hand? There is a poll coming up on this one. Have a little think, what do you think where should bid in response to the one no Trump overcall? Here's another poll. What should West bid? Let me share the results with you. And we've got quite a wide range of responses here. Most here went for three no trump, 26% um, bid two clubs, and then three people chose two no trump, one person bid two hearts. And I suppose the first thing is when your partner has overcalled, showing 15 to 17 and you've got 10 points, you should be thinking about game here. You want to be in game. You might automatically bid three no trump here, which most of you chose, but a better bid is to bid stamen. Two clubs should be stamen in this situation, um, as long as you and your partner are clear about that. And you're bidding that so that you uncover a heart fit, which may do better than three no trump. On this particular hand, your partner will respond two hearts, so they've got four hearts, and you will end up in four hearts on this hand. Um, and again, four hearts, should be uh, a good contract to be in. I think three no Trump will make um, two possibly, um, but uh, generally speaking, if you've got an eight card fit in a major, that's the better spot to be in. So don't forget that, about that two clubs being stamen there. Um, if Can I play... ask a question? Yeah. Um, is that an agreement or is that because I'm never quite sure about that bid, so I hesitate. <laughs> it, it should be standard. Okay. If, if you play, um, uh, if you play Stamen, you should also play it in response to a one no Trump overcall. And the same applies to transfers. If you were, uh, if West had a five card heart suit, for example, and uh, you should be playing transfers in that situation as well. Uh, and so you would bid, you know, two diamonds of a transfer to hearts to show five hearts. So I recommend that you play stamen and transfers in response to a one no trump overcall 
if thank you, you very much them, if you play them in other situations as well but yes if with a new partner it, it's a good idea to check it's it's one of the complications you know when you're when you're playing with someone for the first time you you say you play transfers and you often don't have time to ask questions like this to play to play transfers and stamen in response to another call but you should it's considered uh, standard um we've got one last um uh one here to look at here north opens one diamond and east doesn't quite have the perfect shape for a normal takeout double um <coughs> but there's no real suit that you can bid um so let's suppose you do double and south passes west here has got 12 points so is definitely thinking about game here um and presumes they've got to fit in one or both majors so you could just sort of take a punt on whichever major you felt like bidding um if you did you should almost certainly bid three or four or four hearts or spades but another bid you can make here is to bid the opponent suit and i like to use that bid of two diamonds bidding the opponent suit it can't possibly be that you want to play diamonds to show that you have equal preference between the unbid majors it's really only useful if they're, if they're both majors because if there's a choice between a major and a minor you would go for the major <clears throat> but here you can bid two diamonds and that says partner please tell me which suit you prefer do you prefer spades or do you prefer hearts here your partner has four spades and only has got three hearts so it should be two spades and hopefully that will end in four spades and um, on this particular layout you've got a spade bit but you don't have a um, uh, an eight card heart fit. So you're better off in spades. The computer says you can make nine tricks in heart contract, um, but you can make 10 tricks in a spade contract. Um, and of course, no trump would not do well at all here because you don't have a diamond stopper. <clears throat> By the way, if West does bid two diamonds here, you can see here North um, might double that. The double there of an artificial bid is basically saying, partner, I really have good diamonds. And if you end up on lead, I would like you to lead diamonds. So um, when they bid two diamonds, an artificial bid, you double to encourage your partner to lead diamonds if they end up on lead. Okay. So, Tony, uh, yeah. <clears throat> why, why would you be paid and not clubs? Say that again. Why would East? Bit spades and not clubs. You mean Why in response to two diamonds? Yeah. What do you think he should bid? You know, you said he's he bid two spades. Yeah. Why two spades and why not two three clubs? Why not three clubs? Well, you you don't want to be playing in a minor suit if you might have a fit in a major. So, um, the, oh, okay. the, the two diamond bid should really be. To, to force your partner to pick between the majors. I don't think, uh, I think this bid is really only useful if there are two unbid majors, not really useful if you've got, uh, if, you know, if, if you had, so, so your partner should definitely not, should not be bidding three clubs here, um, but should be, be bidding uh, two spades. That's okay. what your partner wants to hear about. Okay. Okay, thank you. So, um, so that's it. That was all I wanted to uh, to talk about today. Um, I'm going to uh, stop sharing my screen with you and just ask if anyone has any questions to unmute yourselves.